contraption is my frame that is not glued up yet. I didn't want to do the glue up on the video because it's a fight. It's a hassle and a fight to put this thing together. And I don't do pictures frames, uh, you know, for a living. I, I, I don't, I, I built a lot of picture frames for my daughter and my mother-in-law because they used to do a lot of painting and I would make the, the picture frames and it would come out really nice. Okay. First, let's diss the corner clamp. I do find that if you just, just make contact, boom, and it stop, that's holding it. But you're not, you're not getting any pressure against the joint, against the miter, to squeeze any of that glue to make that glue come together. Basically, it, and then when you try that, you put just a little bit of pressure, two things are gonna happen. It's going to pop up or your joint it's going to it's going to pop up like this or your joint is going to separate I, I, i'm you know i'm like and there's a lot of videos out there i watched them i watched enough of them to, okay well, hey that's simple that's easy i can make that you know cut the little thing put the little thing right there put a clamp Snug it up, snug it up. Guess what? Here it goes. Bloop, pops up, or it'll it'll separate. Well, that didn't take long. Thirty minutes. That is officially glued up. But as you can see, right there. That's probably the worst one. I mean, I can fix it. I just had to put some blue tape on my boards, my blocks. So I went and glue the wood to the wood, the frame to the wood. Anyways, that's what I had to do to put that frame together. And I still think I'm gonna nail it, to be honest with you. I still think I'm gonna shoot some nails on the back side. But I had to put these, I, think, I don't know, I don't use them, what they call them, calls. I had to put that across there because as soon as I tighten up the band, ploop, it just, it just picks it up. Even if I just put it around the frame. If I didn't use this or this and put that around just the frame, it just, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't think, uh, and it still didn't do what I thought it was going to do. I'm holding my camera, y'all. Sorry about that. See, they didn't, uh, it still didn't pull all the joint tight like I thought it would. That's red oak. I never, never done an inlay before, so hopefully it's gonna look nice. Anyways, I really thought it would have squeezed out glue out of here, but it didn't. I mean, it didn't even pull the joint tight. I thought it was, and I thought maybe, well, my miters are not good. Well, I double checked my miter sled from my table saw and it is dead on accurate. My miter saw over there, I checked the 45 on it and I checked the, the 90, the 90 <clears throat> the regain on the blade, and they're both dead on. Dead on the money. And I still can't close that gap. I can fix it. I just didn't want to have to fix it. But 
That's what I had to do. All right, I'm going to eat supper. Y'all take a break. I'm going to attempt, because I've never done it before, is to put some bow ties on the back of my frame that I've been working on. Because I don't think this glue joint is gonna be strong enough. <clears throat> but if you've done any kind of glue ups, they say that, you know, you got good glue coverage when you squeeze or clamp your piece together, you get a little, some glue that squeezes out of here. Well, I didn't get any squeeze out of my joints, if any at all. In fact, they're not as tight as I want them to. Anyways, I just want to go over a couple of things. <clears throat> trying to clamp this thing up. Uh, I had put those corner blocks on the outside with the strap. And I think the reason I had to put a bar across the top to hold it down, and I think this is why. Like I said, I've never used that before. As you can see, I had already routed, routed the edge. So when I put a block, the this. Four of these on each, on each corner, put the strap around it, but I had to put a crossbar, like you've seen on the earlier video, to hold it down. And what's happening, as you can see it, it's not, this is the only part that it's pushing against because I had already routed the edge. So what it's doing is picking it up like, like that, yay. So anyways,
Like I said, it's structural reasons, not for looks, but it goes down deep. I like this one. I think I'm going to try and that one over there. That one goes down pretty good too, but that one and this one. If they go down as deep as I want them to go. So I think we're going to work on those two. And then we'll start gluing this thing up. Well, we're going to call that good. Uh, Pixie does. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> no. This is going to be a little tricky because that picture is coiled. Oh, uh, I forgot which one was the top. Because I want, there you go. I want that to be the top because it's. Should fit. So I already checked the fit on it. Show the face of people. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to nail this. I should, I should have cut that groove a little bit deeper. We're going to try it. I don't know if it's going to be enough. So far, so good. And this thing here that I'm using is so old, I didn't think it'd still work. <laughs> I haven't used it forever. That's the problem with stopping the camera, you always forget to turn it right back on. This will probably be this will probably be the last video I do before the Christmas holidays because we are leaving to go out of town to my children's house, which is actually my old house. They bought our house and we sold it. I want to thank you all for watching this video. Now I'm going to go hang it in my house until I can wrap it and bring it this weekend. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a blessed year.